Scotland's showpiece road bridged the Queen's Ferry Crossing which has been shut down after eight vehicles were damaged by falling frozen debris, still cannot properly detect ice despite a multi-million pound sensor system. Calls have been made for an urgent investigation into ice issues on the 1.7-mile publicly funded bridge, which have arisen just 11 months after giant icicles smashed the windscreens of three cars after they snapped off from cables on the crossing. The Scottish government has been strongly criticised for a failure to act quickly with Transport Secretary Michael Matheson saying in October that new sensors would be installed. The bridge, which was the result of the biggest infrastructure project in Scotland in a generation will be shut for safety reasons until at least today, Wednesday, as engineers carry out inspections. When it opened to traffic in August, 2017, it was heralded by First Minister Nicola Sturgeon as a symbol of a confident, forward-looking Scotland and a feat of modern engineering. The Queen opened the bridge in August, 2017. Before it opened, bridge operators said the 3.5 metres high wind shields would almost entirely eliminate the need for closures. Now the Scottish Government has confirmed that it is planning to install ice sensors on the structure in the coming months. According to contractor information seen by the Herald the £1.35 billion bridge over the fourth, that multi-million pound real-time system has over 2,300 sensors installed, which included the measuring of environmental impact. These include anemometers to measure wind, barometers, rainfall gauges, air temperature and humidity sensors. Details of the innovative system which uses highly advanced software also refers to having structure temperature sensors for the steel concrete, asphalt and stay cables and accelerometers to monitor any movement or vibration. But Transport Scotland has confirmed that the system is not expected to be fully operational until later this year. While the bridge was under construction in 2016, then Transport Secretary Derek Mackay assured the Scottish Parliament that the decision to build in structural health monitoring as part of the new Queen's Ferry Crossing, a first for a UK bridge is an example of the efforts that will safeguard that essential crossing for the future. Transport Scotland said it had considered the possibility of ice accumulation at an early stage of the bridge's design but due to the rarity of falling ice incidents it was considered that the risk was best addressed through what it only describes as operational management which included visual inspections. It has been working from March to October to define a specification for the weather and ice accumulation sensor system and from early November on procurement recommendations. For more on this story, visit the news article link.